All right, guys, I'm going to do a, vid a video reply to a TikTok post by Deer Grinding Hyena, a fellow JCT driver. She posted a video on her channel on TikTok about a problem she was having with her trailer brakes. Uh, problem was that she had her trailer brakes set, but the truck was still able to roll. And I'm going to show you uh, something that could be a cause of that. Yeah, it is now. Um, now on her her video on TikTok, that she had a whole bunch of comments on there. Most everybody talking trash about uh, uh, brake adjustment. Problem is, it's not necessarily a brake adjustment problem that she's having here. So um, since I can't quite, I can't seem to give a good explanation in less than a minute within TikTok's stupid limits. Um, I have all kinds all kinds of problems, and I have. I have more luck with YouTube and doing my editing and all that with that. I'm going to just go ahead and do it there and maybe get some more, a uh, uh, better explanation, more thorough explanation for you guys, whatever, and uh, better understanding of it. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and release the trailer brakes. First things first, we're going to check, make sure the trailer brakes are actually released. Uh, this arm right here is part of this crank. And I got the there's a torque tube right here that goes across to the other side. Same thing there. Okay, there should be a gap, a big gap like this between this uh, this arm here and uh, this piece right here. When it's like that, check your brakes. You want to check ideally for make sure there's no visible gap between the brake pad and the brake drum. If there is a if there's a gap there, you're gonna have to adjust the brakes first. Uh, I do have a video already uh, posted uh, about how to make the adjustment on that. Just look for that video and uh, you can make the adjustment. It's very easy fix. If they're adjusted properly, then there's pretty good, already there's a pretty good chance it's not a brake adjustment problem, but a parking brake problem. Next thing we're going to do is set the trailer brakes. When the brakes are set properly, you can check this again. See how this arm is right up against the... Uh, part right here the the axle going through it uh, that's what you want to see if the if the brakes are set properly if they're not they're gonna be out a little bit like that see all there is is holding this is a spring right there you can pull it like that to release the brakes all right so the uh, problem is the uh, problem is if the uh, yeah the parking brake supposed to be set it doesn't necessarily mean it really is set. Um, so when when you have the valve pushed in, you know, the, the, it supplies air to the emergency brakes on the, you know, or basically the parking brake uh, on the through the red valve, no, through the red glad hand. Now uh, there's a valve back there at the front of the tandems that it goes through to get to that, and it, basically the valve allows the air pressure to uh, to go to the the back end there to that yeah you know, basically what operates that crank that I showed you and, but sometimes if you set the trailer brakes yeah you know, pop the valve it's supposed to bleed the air pressure back out of there and allow the spring force the the, the spring that you saw on the site uh, for that to do its job and pull the pull the crank back in and set the brakes so uh, as I said it does sometimes happen where the air gets trapped in there uh, there's a couple reasons why that might happen. One of them might be because you have um, ice in there, especially if it's in a cold weather environment. Uh, maybe you get some moisture inside the line and you, um, you might need to use some brake antifreeze solution to uh, through the glad hand hose, the red glad hand, to, uh, to break up whatever's frozen in there. Uh, if it's not that, it could also be that the valve is sticking. Anything that moves can, uh, yeah, it sometimes needs to be lubed, and sometimes over time it'll go bad. And if that's, yeah, it could be that that valve is actually sticking just naturally because of, uh, you know, just getting worn out, or maybe a little rust or whatever. Now, uh, if it starts to stick, then sometimes the air could also get trapped in there and not allow the. Uh, not allow the air to fully deplete from there between the valve and the parking brake lever uh, crank. Yeah, if that happens, the parking brake will stay dis uh, will stay released. Uh, if that is the case, it's your it won't necessarily it won't be a problem with the way the brakes work through the service brake pedal. 
and it just means that they won't be able to work properly through the uh, the red valve like they're supposed to uh, and, my, uh, and uh, one way you can also double check that it's not a just a, a more systemic brake problem with the trailer and not just the trailer brakes or uh, the parking brake setting is to drive with the trailer and get a feel for how the trailer brakes uh, yeah anybody who has any kind of trekking experience knows that uh, you can usually tell pretty easily how well the trailer brakes work uh, there's times where you know, you're you're used to a certain amount of braking force and uh, braking effort and you know stopping distance you know with certain types of trailers and loads whatever and if it feels like it's taking a lot longer to slow down than normal it's probably a pretty good indication that the trailer brakes really are not working but in a lot of times these particular cases it's not really that that's not really the case um, it probably stops in the normal amount of space but just the parking brake won't set for those aforementioned reasons. Either you got ice in the system because you're in a cold weather area, or you got a valve that's sticking and not allowing the air to escape. So check those first. But um, um, now the easy part would be, you know, obviously put the brake antifreeze in, and that's the only thing you can really do to fix it on your own if there, if that even is the cause. But you may have to take it to a shop and get the uh, the valve replaced or something if that is what's causing it. But uh, don't just necessarily assume that it's a, a trailer brake adjustment problem. Um, and again, I do have that, uh, a separate video um, that talks about that shows how to make the adjustment and all that. So I'm not going to go back into that here. But um, just watch out for that. All right. All right. That's all I have. Uh, see you guys later.